Okay, dear learners, Assalamu alaikum. Once again, welcome to CBSCS online class and my channel, Chemistry School. This is Shopikul Islam Shopik with you. Uh, dear learners, uh, in this video, uh, I want to uh, just discuss about the mathematical problem about titration. Dear learners, the last video regarding the titration we have to know the volumetric equation for the titration. Here, the volumetric equation is here. Uh, this is the acid base titration. And we have also, there is another uh, form of uh, this titration regarding acid base here. Acid uh, base, acid with salt and acid with metal. This is also the neutralization reaction also. We can easily find out the concentration of unknown substance by using the known solution here by this titration process. This is the volumetric equation dear learners. Here A uh, is for the moles of acid and B is for the moles of base and B A, B A means the volume of acid, S A means the uh, concentration of acid dear learners and B B also volume of the base and S B also the concentration of base. Dear viewers, there is a problem regarding the titration. This is the type 1 from me. Type 1 means when one acid react with one base. Okay. The problem is here. There is 300 milliliter 0.1 molar HCl solution is mixed with 500 sodium carbonate solution to neutralize it. So what will be the concentration of the sodium carbonate? Here, look at this here. The uh, volume and the concentration is given uh, from uh, hydrochloric acid and uh, the volume for uh, sodium carbon is given there and the concentration of the sodium carbon will be the targeted value. This is now easy for us because of here the volume of acid is VA is given there and the concentration of acid SA also given there and the volume of the sodium carbonate I mean the made, uh, salt uh, like the base is uh, VB also given there and our duty to submit the related reaction between the acid and base and what is the reaction here ACL plus sodium hydroxide dear learners this is the uh, solution of this mathematical problem here and then uh, ACL, ACL plus sodium carbonate sorry sodium carbonate uh, sodium carbonate the product will be the sodium chloride plus carbon dioxide plus water you have to balance this equation and mind it if we use a equation to uh, solve a mathematical problem then your first and foremost duty to submit the reaction first then your duty to balance this equation and here look at this uh, 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 metal first metal is here two sodium atom but in the product one sodium atom and that is why we use two here and now uh, solve the uh, balance for hydrogen atom here hydrogen is two and uh, in the uh, reactant hydrogen is one so we have to write two here and now chlorine chlorine here two at this moment and the reactant also there is two chlorine and carbon is one in the reactant also in the product carbon one and on the other hand uh, oxygen is three here and oxygen is also in the three atom in the product uh, here two and one now we have the balance equation and now can, we can easily apply the volumetric equation for the titration A into VBSB and B into VASC. From the reaction, from the reaction, the moles of acid is, acid is here, look at this dear learners, moles of acid is 2 here, we can write down A is for 2 and the moles of sodium carbon is 1 here, so we can write down the uh, uh, the value of uh, value of V for one here uh, the what will be the value of uh, V A is here from the uh, stem is here 300 milliliter and the A S A the concentration of acid is 0 0.1 m molar 
and the volume of the sodium carbonate is given there also 500 milliliter and the concentration of sodium carbonate will be the targeted value i mean uh, we have to uh, find out the concentration of sodium carbonate here we can easily we can easily put this value in this equation then s a s b means b into v a s a by uh, a into v b and the value of b is 1 v a is 500 uh, v a is 300 and s a is 0 0.1 then this is the 500 uh, a means here 2 and b means here 500 okay dear learners then we can easily we can easily find out the uh, concentration of the solution is here um, dear learners uh, 0.3 by 10 0.3 by 10 then uh, it will be the 0 0.03 molar okay that's right uh, for the first solution dear learners let's uh, see the second type mathematical problem dear learners this is the type 2 questions here also one acid and one base present there but here look at this carefully uh, we have a acid solution uh, and ba basic solution in a container uh, they are mixed each other but here look at this the volume of acid is given there i mean the v is given there and the required value is the concentration of acid i mean asa is the required value and now we have the four uh, term in our volumetric uh, equation look at this a into v b s b b into v a a c so two term is here uh, v a and ASA. ASA will be the required value and the V is given there. But we have to know about the volume of base and uh, concentration of base now. The volume of base is given there. No problem. But problem is here. The concentration of concentration of sodium hydroxide is not given there. And our duty to find out first the concentration of sodium hydroxide. Then react each other. Submit the reaction then we can apply this equation then we can easily find out the concentration of acid i mean asa so we have a equation about molarity in the first lecture i mean in the lecture of molarity and molar solution there is a equation there was equation dear learners ac is equal w by m into uh, 1000 by v okay for the sodium hydroxide here the w is 20 gram w is here 20 gram dear learners look at this the amount of substance 20 gram and the molecular mass m is the sodium for sodium hydroxide is 40 and 1000 by volume is here 500 by using this equation first we have to calculate the molarity of base here we can uh, calculate easily uh, by this equation look at this dear learners here 2 to uh, 20 22 to 1 uh, molar so we can get the molarity and the concentration of uh, base here the sb is uh, uh, now we can get uh, from the equation the another value is here from uh, the uh, stem we can uh, write down vb is here 500 milliliter dear learners va is here the 500 also and sb is the required value and now first of all you should uh, submit the related reaction i mean between uh, sodium hydroxide and sulfuric acid naoh plus h2so4 the what will be the product na2so4 plus water if we want to balance this equation we have to write 2 in front of sodium hydroxide then we can easily uh, get, uh, uh, get the values of A. This is the values of B. And here the values of A is uh, 1. So A is 1 and B is here 2. So if we now apply the equation, uh, in the equation the difference values, then we can get the SB of 
base i mean the concentration of base is here b into concentration of acid here also sorry we want to uh, we can easily find out the concentration of acid a into vb sb and b into va now a for one and vb for 500 milliliter sb for one molar and dear learners sb for one molar and the b is for two and v also 500 milliliter 500 500 we can uh, get here then we can get 0.5 molar is uh, sulfuric acid solution okay this is the concentration of sulfuric acid solution now dear learners let's go uh, the next another uh, problem i mean type 3 questions dear viewers this is the type 3 uh, uh, problem regarding the titration type 3 means i write down here uh, number one two or more acid with one base when present in the problem or two or more base and one acid present there okay this is the problem dear learners look at here 20 uh, cubic centimeter and 0.5 molar HCl and 15 uh, cubic centimeter 1 molar sulfuric acid and 60 cubic centimeter decimolar nitric acid solution are mixed in a container i mean there is three acid here present to neutralize the total acidic solution by uh, sodium hydroxide we mix their 100 cubic centimeter solution then the require uh, the question is here find out the concentration of base look at here carefully dear learners the solution of volume of sodium hydroxide is given there i mean this is the vb value and sb the required value okay and we have to know about the concentration and the volume of the acid because of we have four term four uh, term in the volumetric analysis uh, equation a into vbsb and b into vaasa dear learners here uh, vb is given there and sb is the required value and our duty to find out the total volume of acid and the total volume of uh, uh, total concentration of acid but here three acid are present there and we have a trick here first one and we can solve this problem by two way we have two trick here number one trick look at this how many acid there three acid hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid and nitric acid first one convert the concentration to one molar of all acid we should convert the convert the concentration of all acid, all acid to one molar and there is another uh, trick here convert the all acid to one acid i mean uh, sulfuric acid nitric acid and the hydrochloric acid we should make it the one acid i mean uh, sulfuric acid converted to hcl hydrochloric acid or nitric acid convert to hcl then we can add this uh, this the uh, volume or uh, uh, concentration then it will be one acid and then we can get the va and sa easily and now the tricks is here uh, the concentration 0.5 and uh, volume of uh, hydrochloric acid is this here we want to convert the sulfuric acid and nitric acid to the hcl look at this look at here sulfuric acid release two proton and hcl release one proton if uh, sulfuric acid uh, will be equal to the hydrochloric acid then it will be the two uh, uh, mole of hydrochloric acid equivalent to the one mole of sulfuric acid and that is why uh, here look at this the volume and the concentration is here the we we want to convert sulfuric acid to uh, acl and it, that is why look at this here learners we convert the sulfuric acid to acl by multiplying two here look at this if we convert sulfuric acid to nitric uh, sul uh, uh, hydrochloric acid then we can multiply two because of uh, 2 mole of HCl is equivalent to 1 mole of sulfuric acid. 
here this is easy for you for better understanding here nitric acid one mole is equal to acl one mole so nitric acid this is the nitric acid the amount and uh, substance of nitric acid equi equivalent to the hydrochloric acid same okay here now we have hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid and hydrochloric acid so the total total hydrochloric acid is here 46 uh, cubic centimeter and one molar so you now have the values here this is the va and this is the sa now put this value in this equation before this you have to submit the related equation between this uh, we have now one acid i mean acl and sodium hydroxide one base the product is uh, salt and water the re re equation already uh, balanced there and uh, now your uh, targeted value is a is for one b is for one b a is for uh, sulfuric acid is uh, hydrochloric acid so hydro hydrochloric acid 46 cubic centimeter and asa means the concentration of acl is one molar and the v b is also given in the stem 100 cubic centimeter and the asb will be the targeted value I mean your, is your required value and if you uh, just put these values in this equation as b is equal b into v a s a by a into v b and b is for 1 v a is for 46 and s a uh, means 1 and uh, a means for 1 and v b uh, v b means uh, the uh, v b means the uh, VB means the 100 look at here dear learners this is 100 cubic centimeter 100 cubic centimeter then it will be the uh, 0 0.46 molar this will be the answer for these questions okay dear learners there is another tricks uh, again you have a look on the uh, uh, solve this problem here uh, first of all we should uh, convert the all acid to make it one acid and the, you should know uh, the relation between the, uh, the acid i mean one mole sulfuric acid is equivalent to mole hydrochloric acid and uh, that is why uh, for the sulfuric acid if we multiply the volume with two then it will be converted to acl now we can get the acl acl uh, accordingly nitric acid converted to the acl then all solution of acid converted to acl and that is why this is the total volume uh, of acl this is 46 and the molarity is one and this is the va i mean volume for acid and this is the asa the concentration of hydrochloric acid this is the related reaction and reaction already have uh, uh, balance there and this is the volumetric uh, equation we can easily just putting these values different types of values and we find out we can easily find out this the concentration of base solution i mean sodium hydroxide this is the process to solve this uh, type 3 type uh, problem regarding the titration trick to me uh, dear learners uh, look at here there is three separate acid solution we just mix in a container and to neutralize this we use a single sodium hydroxide basic solution here in the trick two the second process we can alternatively uh, find out alternatively we can easily find out the concentration of basic solution uh, uh, when we when we react, uh, react the sodium hydroxide basic solution separately is with each and every acid. Then we can uh, find out separately the concentration of base and finally if we add this concentration we can get the definite result inshallah. Uh, let's uh, start here, look at this, first uh, acid solution is HCl and basic solution is sodium hydroxide. So what will be the reaction? Reaction is, related reaction is HCl plus sodium hydroxide, then sodium chloride and water will form. And then this reaction is, uh, is a balanced reaction now. Then we can easily use the 
volumetric equation b into b a s a and a into b b s b dear learners our duty to find out s b s b means b into b a s a by a into b b look at here uh, the the result of b i mean the value of b is here uh, b means mole for base base mole for base means 1 v a means the volume of acid for sulfuric acid uh, it is 20 and s a means the concentration of acid is 0 0.5 and finally uh, a for 1 i mean mole of acid uh, is here 1 and the uh, volume of the base i mean v b is here 100 milliliter okay uh, then we can get uh, the result of uh, this uh, solution is here, dear learners, and uh, point 0.1m. And there is another, uh, this is the concentration of sodium hydroxide for ACL and now for sulfuric acid. The reaction is related reaction, secondly is sodium hydroxide and sodium sulfate with uh, with uh, water and if you want to balance this then we can write two here mm. and two here and for this reaction we can write uh, mm, a into b b s b b into b a s a and s b will be the required value b into b a s a by a into b b look at this here the value of B is here, mole of base, mole of base is here 2, I mean I don't do. And VA means the volume of acid for sulfuric acid is 15 and uh, the molarity is 1 here 1 uh, for sulfuric acid. And A means uh, 1 mole of acid 1 and uh, the VB means the volume of sodium hydroxide is also one, uh, 100. Then, then it will be the 0 point. 3 molar solution. Okay, and finally, the self sodium hydroxide react with the third acid. The reaction of third reaction is here uh, sodium nitrate and water. The reaction already balanced there, and we can apply the same uh, equation for this reaction also VASA. Dear learners, what will be the ASB? ASB is the VBVASA by A into VB. Look at here. B for mole of base, I mean 1, this, there is 1, and VA means the volume of nitric acid 60, and ASA means the volume of uh, concentration of nitric acid decimal means 0 0.1 mole, and A means the mole of acid is 1 here and VB means the volume of sodium hydroxide okay 100 so it will be the 0 0.06 molar okay dear learners so what will be the total total now total volume total concentration concentration of sodium hydroxide look at here uh, there is first in the first reaction concentration is 0 0.1 in the second reaction concentration is 0 0.3 for the third reaction 0 0.06 i mean there is 0 0.046 molar look at here there are nuts the same result we can get and these two by this two process you can easily find out the molarity of uh, base I mean when one substance uh, react with uh, three or more substance I mean one base react with three or more acid one acid uh, then react with two or more base then we can apply these two type of process easily which will be uh, easy for you that uh, that uh, process you can follow okay that's today dear learners uh, thank you for watching my videos and keep uh, watching my next videos and if you like this do share comments and don't forget to subscribe and thank you dear learners.